He promised Isaac, he promised Jacob, right? You are of that seed, right? We don't. And we didn't earn it, right? We, as a matter of fact, we kind of grew up and it was rough on us, right? Oppression on us, right? Knees on our necks, right? Guns at our back, right? And then you flip around and read the scripture and find out, oh, that's because God is punishing us because we didn't follow the commandments. So really, this is like, we're really the blessed people, right? We don't. For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. Okay, so you know about Sarah, right? He told Abraham, Sarah, you're going to have a son. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father, Isaac, so Rebecca conceived, right? That's when we had those two, right? Jacob and Esau. This picture is a little different. I don't even like this picture because he kind of looks like a brother who's albino. I like it when he just come out straight looking like these devils. You did? <laughs> Read up. Romans 9, verse 11. For the children being not yet born. They had no Jacob, but the children were not even born yet. Neither having done any good or evil. Neither of them did any good, neither of them did any evil. That the purpose of the Most High, according to election, might stand. I understand. Just because he chose it. Right? We don't. Right? Matter of fact, and that's real. We don't. Not of works. Not of works. We didn't earn it. We didn't earn it. We just happened to be it. Right? But of him that called us. Him that called us. When, like, it's like uh, Solomon was a mighty king, right? But when, when, when he, Solomon went off, when he went off with the women and all that, and he started building up the temples, and God told him, I'm not going to do you bad like, uh, like, uh, like I could do you, because I made a promise to your father, David. Right? So he's going to honor the promise he gave to our fathers. Right? We know. Verse 12. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. The, the, the most High God told her, let her know. The elder was going to serve the younger. Right? That's Genesis 25 right there. Right? It's cool. Give me 13. Give me 13. As it is written, Jacob, how I love. God loves us. Right? If you got, you got six kids, when, when they go off in the park, do you whip every kid in the park or you just whip them? Right? They're the only ones who catch your wrath, right? All these other badass kids running around here, somebody else's problem, right? Your kids, you really mean, get over here, right? All five girls and one boy. I know they catch it. <laughs> they be pumping. Well, give me a lunch money. I'm just playing. But you, know, you do correct them. You don't correct everyone's kids. That's what God is doing. Oh, right? We don't. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. He said he hates this, this guy, and in Malachi, if you read it, it says he, he hates all his heritage, all the whole people, all of them going to be waste, right? He hates them all. So how could he love everybody, right? Because, let me get, matter of fact, let me get the story of Lazarus and the rich man, Luke 16, 25. I'm going to make this fast for you. Let me verse 17. Romans, Romans chapter 9, verse 17. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up. He said, just like I rose up Pharaoh, is the same reason why I rose up these wicked people. Right? That I might show my power in thee. So he can show his power. That's what he said in Exodus 13. He's like, yeah, I'm the, uh, you guys get him, get out of there. Pharaoh's going to follow you. I'm going to harden his heart. So he's going to chase after you. And then I'm going to destroy him. And then everyone's going to know that I am the Lord. So he did this to show his power. He can, he, he can do that. Give me verse 20. This is the book of Romans still. Wait, 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 hold up. You know what? I missed something. Verse 14. You were about to read it. Salah. Romans chapter 9, verse 14. What shall we say then? So what shall we say then about this whole thing? What do we say about it? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? Is there unrighteousness with God? Right? Because he chose to do this and have one that he loves and one that he hates? You know what I mean? You do anything creative? Like music or anything like that? Yeah. Or your hairstyles. You ever did somebody's hair and you were like, eh, it wasn't my best work. And you ever did somebody's hair and you were like, oh, I was kidding on that one, girl. Take a picture of her real quick. Right? So every time you put your hands for something, you didn't love it every time. You can you got the right to choose the one you love the most. You know. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the most high? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. God forbid me to hell to the null, right? Go ahead, go to verse 20. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 20. Nay, but O man, who art thou that repliest against God? Who are these people who question what God does? Why are you replying to God? Why do you do that, God? Who are they? 
shall the thing form say to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? <laughs> you, done, you done made a bow or something, you know what I mean? And then the bow gonna talk crazy to you, like, why you got me leaning to the side? You can't do bow, you, I created you, right? Hath not the potter potter over the clay? We know who the potter is, right? And we the clay, right? We ain't got nothing to say to him. Whatever he want to do, he can do it, right? Of the same love to make one vessel unto honor. We made one vessel unto honor. That's you, that's you, that's us. And another unto dishonor. That's all the rest of them, especially Esau, right? And these people claim to be us. They wear bra cups on their heads. They wear bra cups on their heads, and they claim to be the Jews. And they Jew wish, because you wish you was a Jew. You wish you was a Jew. You can't even go to John's Beach for 45 minutes without turning to a red lobster. My stuff, brother. And now you think you was building pyramids in Egypt? You a damn liar.